Hey guys, this is Death by Big Numbers, and as you can see, my FL team is still waiting for our City Shaper map. Um, however, I'm so hyped up by all of the awesome content other YouTubers are putting out that I've decided to go for it, and I've built one of the missions, the Traffic Jam, and I've done my best to solve it. I, uh, again, because we don't have the map, I can't know the exact positioning of it. I also believe base is smaller this year, so there's all those sorts of problems. Um, but I do want to show you guys my attempt at Traffic Jam, my attachment for it, and sort of explain some of the programming behind it. Uh, so the first thing to note about this mission is that it has a completely passive attachment. All right, this attachment frame that I built here still has both of the motors, and they aren't using the traffic jam in any way. Um, so that's really great, and it's using these panel pieces here to wedge up the traffic jam itself. And so essentially, this mission starts off with me aligning it on the grid space. Again, base is different next year, so you guys don't need the exact details. Um, but what it does at first is really interesting. It actually accelerates up to the mission model here to uh, Im improve the accuracy, um, which means it starts off at a very low speed and it builds up speed. It's a very simple acceleration program. Um, I might do a video on it later. And it goes, it goes into here and it curves into the wall and pushes it back, keeps on driving out. So then uh, a few of my more attentive uh, viewers might have noticed that at this point it turns but it turns and it waits. And what essentially it's doing here is it's a proportional gyro turning, um, which means uh, proportional, all sorts of proportional control. There's two steps. So first of all, it uh, calculates the error, which is essentially your sensor reading minus your target value. So in this case, we want to rotate 90 degrees on the gyro sensor. So we're going to take 90 degrees and subtract the gyro reading from it. And then we're going to multiply that by some constant or K value and that is the correction, or how much we need to turn. And we loop that, which means the closer we get to being 90 degrees, the less it's going to turn so that it doesn't overshoot it. Now the problem is gyro sensors are slow. They have an issue called lag, which means they can be up to a second behind, which means it will overturn probably, but then it will realize that it's overturned. And that's why it waits so long. Um, it's on a loop that isn't wait until you get to 90 degrees, it's wait for two seconds which means it'll turn, and then if it overturns, the gyro realizes that, and the math makes it turn backwards again. So it's a very accurate sort of gyro turning. And at that point, the robot just squares off against the board, it's ready to do any of the other missions, like for example, a great situation at this point would be to do the, um, the perhaps to set up some sort of thing for the bridge mission, or maybe the drone. And yeah, it's very useful. So, this has been Death by Big Numbers, thank you for watching, don't forget to like, and subscribe.